August 2005 saw a small group of British technical divers undertake dives on the wreck of HMS Southwold. This is a record of dives on the stern section. Southwold was a hunt class destroyer built at Cowes, Isle of Wight in 1941. She was sent to the Mediterranean as a convoy escort and had a short career, hitting an Italian mine whilst assisting the crippled cargo vessel Breckenshire a few miles outside Valletta Harbour, Malta in March 1942. The mine caused extensive damage and broke the ship in two in the region of her engine room. The stern section lies upright and intact in just over 70 metres of water, approximately half a mile from the bow section, which lies on its starboard side in a similar depth of water. The hunt class carried two twin four-inch gun turrets aft of the bridge. The aft turret is intact, as seen here, but the upper turret lies on its side on the seabed near the break. The upper turret mount and its roller bearings remain on the superstructure. Despite extensive damage at the break, the wreck is otherwise remarkably intact. Dropping to the seabed, the two high-performance propellers can be clearly seen. HMS Southwold had a top speed of 25 knots. stern, racks of depth charges remain, colourful sponges and other marine life now hiding their deadly potential. After a bottom time of nearly 30 minutes, it was time to head up the shot line for a lengthy decompression. Time to consider the violence of 63 years ago, an explosion of such power that it was able to sever a ship into two parts in an instant. Now transformed into a colourful, if haunting, reminder of the past. Finally exiting the water after approximately two and a quarter hours. The bell of HMS Southwold is to be found in the Maritime Museum, Valletta, Malta.